Welcome to our EcoSub Robotics YouTube channel. My name is Ian Vincent and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our EcoSub Milli AUV. Uh, our Milli is the next size up from our Micro, which uh, you can check out on another video. The architecture is actually very similar. Uh, we offer two different flavours for the EcoSub Milli. There's a 500 meter rated uh, depth rated version and also a 2,500 meter depth rated version. Uh, the only real difference is in the pressure housing and how that's designed. Uh, other than that, the vehicles are pretty much identical. Uh, the Milli weighs just 12 kilograms. It's quite easy to lift up and, uh, and carry. It's one hand portable, so you can launch and recover quite easily by lowering into the water and, uh, and off you go. Uh, recovery, typically we use a boat hook to lift it out of the water and then kind of manually haul it over the side of a boat. Uh, if you're working from shore, you can drive these things right up onto the beach and, uh, and, and you're good to go. The Milli is neat because it's a little bit more substantial than the Micro. What that gives us is more power on board and also more payload capacity. So these nose cones can be custom designed to uh, provide a solution for various payloads and we can put multiple payloads on this system. It's still relatively small form factors as payloads that we're looking for. Uh, but we've integrated things like side scan sonar, DVL, altimeters, uh, CT sensors, perimeters, uh, dissolved oxygen, a uh, whole range of, of, of different payloads that we, we can actually get on these vehicles. We're always happy to look at new options as well for users. If there's something specifically you'd like to have integrated into the, one of these vehicles, then let us know and, uh, and we can have a chat about that and, and discuss that. Uh, but yeah, we can get a lot more kit on this than we can our, our micro vehicle. Endurance is typically around about eight hours, depending on what payload configuration you've actually got. Uh, but you can do a lot with this. The vehicle itself, we've got fitted with a nano modem at the moment, can operate with inside our network localization system. This is where you have vehicles on the surface, providing their GPS data and broadcasting it via their acoustic modems. This modem picks that up listens to several messages and can triangulate its position underwater. Gives you much higher levels of navigational accuracy through the water column. Uh, particularly if you're using a DVL, once you've got bottom up with a DVL, you've got very high accuracy at that point, but through this water column area, uh, before you can, uh, can get bottom lock is, is where the network localization can really help out and, uh, and improve your positional awareness. Uh, also makes them responsive to environmental conditions like currents. If they know precisely where they are, they can counter the effect of those currents, correct their navigation uh, autonomously and, uh, and do that on the fly. Uh, they're a really neat system. What can I say? Antenna has got GPS, Wi-Fi for short range communications and high uh, uh, bandwidth data transfer. Uh, also has Iridium on here, so we've got full global coverage no matter where you deploy these vehicles, you can find a location and system status information from them. Uh, we also have our strobe lights as well, uh, which makes uh, finding them a little easier, particularly in the dark. And also an infrared lamp on there so that you can actually use a, an infrared camera to, to track them down as well. Uh, they're great systems, they are designed as flight style AUVs, they're there to, to really be kind of workhorses and to, uh, to collect lots of data. Ideal if you deploy them as multiple systems, you know, when you're sticking three, four, five, or 10, 20 of these vehicles in at once, you can complete an enormous amount of work very quickly. Uh, if you think about kind of the side scan survey, uh, being able to multiply up the number of systems you've got in the water means you're going to collect data a lot quicker. Uh, we're really pleased with them, we think they're fantastic value for money. They're an order of magnitude at least uh, less expensive than the traditional AUV technology that people are used to. Uh, there really is no, no comparison. They're tough, resilient, nice to, uh, to work with, and plus they use alkaline primary cell batteries, so D-cell sized batteries that you can get literally from the supermarket. Uh, you, you can pick those up at very low cost. Transportation is very easy with them. You can fly with these things. They can go check luggage on, uh, on, on kind of, uh, normal aircraft. Uh, we've kind of flown them out to, to various places across the world, South Africa, Croatia, uh, and uh, never had any problems transporting them, so it makes life very easy. Uh, if you'd like more information, check out our website. Uh, we'll uh, you know, be happy to have a conversation or chat with anyone that's interested in using EcoSub technology. Uh, 
I think that's it for me. Thank you very much. Uh, please click like on our video and also subscribe to get more notifications in the future. Thank you very much. Goodbye.